Next thing we're going to talk about is our track system, right? Very important part of a mill. Uh, most people will say the C, the three C's of, uh, of milling, right? Crawlers, conveyor, and cutter. Well, this is a very integral part of it. And I'd like to point out that, you know, what did Cata how did Caterpillar start, right? We made tractors. We know tracks. This track was designed off the back of a D3, right? I'm not saying it's a D3 track, but some of the components in here are. It is a salt chain. Salt, for those people that don't know, sealed and lubricated, right? Very important, gives it a very long life. We also have removable pads that are replaceable. As they wear down, we just unbolt them from here, pop them out and put on a new one. Something new on these machines too, the track is now hydraulically tensioned, which is important because to make the track live a long life and the chain and the sprocket and the front idler pulley is to have a tension, right? Too much tension is no good. Too little tension is also no good because then we get some jumping. So this is hydraulically tensioned all the time. So no more back when uh, mills first came out, we had to take a grease gun with a button greaser and grease the, uh, grease the chain to make it uh, stay taut. And sometimes we were right and sometimes we were wrong. We took all the guesswork out of that, okay? The other part about these tracks, how they turn, is very, very important. If you notice these big steering cylinders on here, right? These, as we turn a corner, everybody knows the inside of the radius is tighter than the outside of the radius, right? That's what those cylinders come into play. We actually take the track that is on the inside of the radius and we turn it more. So it'll actually look, if you look at this machine, when it's doing that, it actually looks like it's broken. Now we turn this one more and this one less. So as it goes around that radius, you're not going to hear the snap, crackle, pop that we usually get from other machines. And we used to get on our old machines, but we fix that with this and we lovingly call it True Track Steering or Ackerman Steering.